Hi, Barbara Carr. I'm a technical specialist with Zygo Corporation. Zygo is a company that uh, has become synonymous with uh, interferometry. So today I'd like to talk about a specific device that is designed for large aperture, that is form studies of optical surfaces, optical components. The device is uh, the Dynapis system and it's got a variety of acquisition modes that we'll step through. The Dynapis system is designed to be able to work in a variety of environments from very stable uh, vibration controlled environments or on a trade show floor where we're not in a ideal conditions, we're able to acquire and choose different acquisition modes for uh, appropriate conditions. Um, many optical uh, technicians, engineers, metrologists are familiar with producing measurements using traditional mechanical phase shifting means. This requires vibration isolation. It's obvious here on a kind of a card table setup, we're not in that condition. If we would in a controlled laboratory, we would be able to make such measurements using standard we call PSI. Um, in this case, uh, that wouldn't be feasible. In fact, attempting to make such a measurement it's going to have a difficult time. You see how the fringes are vibrating significantly. And we will try an attempt at acquiring, but likely we're going to have a, an issue. We're going to have, obviously, corrupted data. To preclude that, we'll, embedded in this device is an alternate acquisition, also relying on mechanical phase shifting but with some algorithms that allow us to acquire data, proper data, even in the presence of significant vibration. This mode of acquisition, as I go has coined QPSI, <clears throat> and we get a legitimate measurement. If our environment was even more substantially extreme, a wind tunnel, some kind of a, a chamber of fixturing that was not uh, supporting the optic uh, with any kind of rigidity, uh, we could also up, step up our acquisition to a carrier fringe uh, acquisition mode that Zygo has coined a Dyna phase acquisition. So in the Dyna phase acquisition mode, we'll step through with a wizard-based uh, approach to performing an in-situ calibration. We have the option here of setting up a, a mask to represent the area of interest. And then we have the choice of introducing tilt and with a target uh, for this calibration mode. I can introduce, in this case, either tilt of the part or tilt of the reference, the reference being the master optic. Again, this is one step in a calibration mode, wizard-based, to allow me to optimize the ideal amount of uh, tilt being introduced to register any system error that would be uh, normally inherent will be calibrated out through this sequence. So I'm introducing uh, tilt from four different directions and doing this one time through for a given me measurement uh, situation to effectively calibrate adding a, a system error from my final measurement. If I'm satisfied with the calibration, I now have a final map of the surface. I can continue to make uh, 
measurements of that surface. I can do that in a live mode. Here I've just activated taking interactive measurements. You'll see now we've got significant turbulence. Again, that could be through a series of averages uh, effectively uh, mitigated uh, for final metrology. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to get a little taste of one of the devices that Zygo offers. Any questions concerning applications, acquisition modes, uh, particular studies, please contact us at zygo.com.